So Jesse Smollett gets arrested yesterday, and I must say I am upset as well as hurt. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to KRS TV. This is your boy Kenny, and this is my thought and commentary on Jesse Smollett being arrested. And also, it's also been revealed that he orchestrated the whole thing, and it was all due to the fact that he wanted to make more money and he wanted to raise his celebrity. I must say, I'm really hurt and disgusted by these accusations, and you know, I'm kind of feeling like Tyra Banks on America's Next Top Models. Like, we were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you, and I'll dare you. And I, I really feel some kind of way about this because I literally did a video not only showing my support of him, but showing support of the black LGBTQ community. And it's like, you really don't even realize that you burnt a lot of bridges with this. Because, yeah, it was probably done, you know, with the intention of raising your profile. But I'm here to, in this video, to say that there is a right way of raising your profile and there's a wrong way. And I must say, Jesse, I got love for you, brother, but you made a bad move. And there are going to be consequences and repercussions for this shit. Because what you literally pulled was a Suzanne Summer, you know. Y'all know Suzanne Summer, who was famous for playing Christy on the show Three's Company. Let's just say she was, um, she had issues with how much she was getting paid on the show. And due to the fact that her star was rising and she felt she should have gotten more money. So she pulled a whole bunch of stunts and what ended up happening that she got her ass fired. And for a while, she was being turned away by a lot of big names in um in the in the entertainment industry as far as opportunities. I mean she ended up having doing the um end up doing, you know, infomercials for the Thigh Master. That's how bad she had to struggle to get herself back to that space. So I'm here to say that Jesse Smollett can come back from this, but he is going to take a serious nosedive. Because now it's, it's, it's come out that this whole thing was orchestrated, even to the two guys who are brothers who worked on the Empire set. And it bothered me that they kept saying, oh, these Nigerian men, they are of Nigerian descent. They are from Chicago. They are Americans. And that's one thing that needs that I think needs to be understood because I think they were showing that to say that, well, obviously they weren't attacked by, you know, by MAGA supporters because they're black. Um, there are a lot of black people who support Donald Trump. Whether we believe it or not, they are. I even know a few, unfortunately. So, <laughs> so it could have still been that, but they really, they, but they actually got video surveillance of them buying all of this buying all the materials like the ski mask and all of that and allegedly he paid them thirty five hundred dollars to orchestrate the hit and he also gave them a hundred for them to buy the supplies so they got them on surveillance buying the stuff they even got them on surveillance you know being outside of the night of the of the attack in question and it's just not looking good and he and and it's all coming out that or that Jesse orchestrated this attack because he wanted to get more money on Empire and he wanted to raise his profile as a celebrity and an artist. Well, I'm also thinking about also the some of the things that you did. Like you literally got on Good Morning America and you literally lied to Robin Roberts to her face. And then when you had that um when you had that performance and you called yourself the black the um that you the gay Tupac. Now, yeah, you and Tupac were both celebrities and you're both outspoken. But Tupac wasn't a liar, Jesse. Tupac never did would never pull a stunt like that. Because at the end of the day, you get paid what you get paid. If you want to make more money, then there's a right way of going about that. You did something that is going to really knock you down as far as your level of celebrity. 
And it's it's sad to watch this. It's it's really sad that Jesse was sink this low to to raise his profile. Like there's a difference um, when it comes to being a boss mentality and having an employee mentality. And clearly, Jesse pulled, you know, obviously has an employee mentality. He wants to make more money, so instead of him being creative as to figure out how to make this happen, he was creative because I have to say, this was a very well thought out, orchestrated plan, but due to the fact that we're in the Me Too situation, when you make accusations like that, you now have forces that are going to go through things through a fine tooth comb. And probably years ago, if he would have pulled a stunt like this, he would have gotten away with it. You know, probably would have never been questioned by the police or anything like that. It probably would have been dealt with and he probably it probably wouldn't have gotten exposed. But now that we're in a in an age where we have the Me Too movement on the rise, people making accusations, oh no, they're gonna get they're gonna get down to the bottom of it to see whether you're telling the truth or not. And now that you have been exposed that you've been lying, oh, they're coming for you. But I don't think it's gonna be the end of Jesse's career because Jesse is a phenomenal talent, but he will take a nosedive. So you will be knocked down big time. And you're going to have to put in some years before you can get back to the spot you're at now. Because now you have been demoted. Just like Suzanne Summers was when she got fired from Three's Company. Just like that, you have been demoted. Because you, instead of finding a, 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 the right way of combating this issue you chose to pull a stunt and your stunt got exposed but yeah this this is actually sad you know because as i said before there's a difference between a boss mentality and an employee mentality because with a boss mentality if you're unhappy with your pay then you will find a creative another creative idea or a creative um shift in what you're doing to make more money whereas him being an employee you know because he didn't create empire he's an employee on empire so you're unhappy with your pay but yet i can understand why you would feel that way i mean you have a groundbreaking character and i would have to say jamal's character is one of the biggest draws of the show because it actually got me hooked because for one, I've been a fan of Jesse Smollett for a long time, even when he was a kid. They was on, I remember they had that show on, um, I think it was on ABC called On Our Own with him and the rest of his brothers and sisters. I was a huge fan of the show. It only lasted one season, but I even remember in the episode when he was singing so emotional to this girl and he kisses her when they go camping. I remember this, you know, I go back with Jesse a long way. I even remember the movie The Skinny, you know, that was um, created by um, Patrick Ian Polk, the same creator of Noah's Ark. You know, I saw him in The Skinny, and then when I saw him in Empire, I was like, they picked the right person because I saw how good of an actor he was in the movie The Skinny, where he played an openly gay character. So I was so when I see that he was cast as the gay son, I was like, that's the perfect, that's the perfect guy. They did some great casting. And and Jesse has um, showed how much of a, you know, multi-talented person that he is. And it's like he's really trying to create a career outside of Empire because, you know, Empire is, a, is, a, is, a, is not only a great show, but all shows come to an end. And that's the, that's the reality with all sitcoms. You know eventually it's going to have an end date. So here he is trying to make moves to still be relevant or to still take his career to the next level. You know, by the time Empire comes, you know, by the time Empire comes to a close, he'll still have a long, you know, career and that he'll get more opportunities in Hollywood. But baby, Jesse, you went about it the wrong way, bruh. And now that this happened... A whole lot of people are gonna are gonna are gonna not work with you. A whole lot of people are not gonna sponsor you. 
a whole lot of people are no longer going to support you. And the fact that you did this on a national scale, this is going to hurt your pockets more than you realize. And I'm sad that this is happening to Jesse because I still got love for Jesse. You know, this is not me trying to, you know, beat him down because the world is already doing that to you. My job being a, a proud black gay man who has a platform, my job is to not only tell you the truth, but to say that, look, I still got love for you. You know, because they're going to tear you up. And it's and it's sad because you're a you're a you're a gay black man who has made a groundbreaking leap by being on a national TV show, and you play and you played a gay character that wasn't stereotypical. Because before Empire, most all gay characters they were either overly flamboyant or overly dragged up, and they constantly played at that stereotype that all black gay men were femmes. And that's not the case. There are different variations of black gay men. And the fact that we saw Jamal Lyons playing a different variation of a gay black man was groundbreaking. Not just for the world, but for me myself. You know, because I'm kind of like a real chill, laid back kind of guy. You know, so it was good to kind of see somebody like me being on television and i could identify with jamal and i actually review empire on my on you know on my channel here on krs tv so i'm a huge fan of the show and also a huge fan of lee daniels and um and his and his work so i was just i was just like i'm really sad by this it, it really is it's really sad that we're seeing such this great talent being literally ripped apart by the media. I mean, he's literally going to get the fatty art buckle treatment where after this, he may not have a career or he will have a lackluster um, position in entertainment. Because you did this on a national scale. You got, you know, people like, you know, um, Ava DuVernay and um, Oprah Winfrey, so many prominent people in the industry who was in your corner. And then now it's been revealed that you staged this all because you weren't happy with the money you were getting. Well, baby, when you're working for somebody, you're not the boss. If you didn't create it, if you didn't put your own money up, you're not the boss, bruh. So you knew that's what you were getting paid dissatisfied with it you either try to renegotiate that contract or you get out of it because whatever they're going to pay you is what they're going to pay you that's the thing when you're an employee you can't decide how much you're going to get paid you can negotiate but at the end of the day what you get paid is what you get paid and it's up to you whether you sign on that dotted line or not you signed it on the dotted line so that's what you were getting paid so if you wanted to make more money, then you should have been of an entrepreneurial mindset and created other ventures outside of the show that would have brought you more revenue. And he has done that, but he wants to go to that next level. He wants to be that top A status, you know, where he wants to, you know, he wants to hit the stratosphere. I get that, but there's time, there's work, and there's perseverance to get there. There is no overnight way or no fast pathway to success. I don't give a damn what um, industry you're in. There's no fast pathway there. You're not going to get there by groveling. You're not going to get there by pulling stunts. And you're not going to be able to sleep your way there. You're, it's just not. And a lot of people have that negative narrative that they can pull stunts or screw their way to get there. No, boo-boo. You could get there by that, but you won't be able to stay there. It won't keep you. And on top of it, you won't be respected because everybody will know you didn't work hard for that position that you're in. So, I hope Jesse takes a really deep look at himself 
And I, and I actually have to say that we, as being members of the LGBTQ community, still need to be there for him. Yeah, be angry with his ass. Let him know how you feel. Tell him off if you need to. But still love and support this brother because he's still going to need... He's still going to need our help. He, and he's still going to need support because he's going to get mass rejection from the entire you know entertainment industry and we as being a part of the lgbtq us being a part of the lgbtq community still need to stand with him but we need to stand with him that look you're our brother but you need to get it together and you need to get this right because there's obviously something in him that feels so inadequate that he had to go through all these links to do this. So it's it's actually rather sad and it's heartbreaking. And I also, you know, want to send condolences to the Smollett family that they're gonna even get bombarded because of this. And I I, I I'm I'm actually happy that they're standing by him and that they're gonna be in support of him, you know, because they, they are a very close knit family. But yeah, but us as part of the LGBTQ community, we're going to have to stand with him too. Not, you know, endorsing what he did because I definitely don't endorse that. I went on my platform, you know, in backing, you know, when I heard that he was attacked by MAGA supporters. So obviously it was put out there that this was a racial and a hate crime. I went on my platform talking about Baynard Roosten and the civil rights movement and that we as a black people need to come together and we need to stick with each other. I went on a pat on a platform and spoke my mind for you and yet we come to find out this whole damn time you orchestrated this because you wanted to get more money. There is a right way and a wrong way to get more money and sadly Jesse you chose the wrong way. And there are consequences and repercussions when you make mistakes. But I still got love for you. And, you know, this is what I had to say. And, um, you know, if you guys have things you want to say about this, put it down in the comments. I just ask that you be respectful because I don't play that disrespect on my platform. So, but definitely if you disagree or, or agree, get down in those comments and talk to me. I'm, I'm definitely willing to hear your side on these things. And, I'm, and I definitely want to hear some feedback in regards to this because this is very sad. And I'm, I'm really heartbroken that Jesse Smollett is about to get the same type of treatment that Fatty Arbuckle and Suzanne Summers got in their heyday. You know, where you're literally your, your persona and your whole status in the entertainment industry is going to get ripped right from under you. So that's what I have, y'all. So um, get down on those comments and let me know your thoughts. But um, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you get notifications every time I drop a video. Also, follow me on all of my social platforms. I have them all listed in the description box. Also, um, like this video, comment on this video, share this video. You know, get this out to as many people as you can because people really need to... I, I really want to get a, a serious dialogue going on in regards to Jesse's... In regards to our brother Jesse Smollett, because stuff like this can't can no longer go on, you know. So yeah, like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and um, you know I'll probably have another thought and commentary video coming down the pike. So until next time, everybody, take care.